Hello and welcome to HD Calx. I'm Rick and it is currently the middle of March 2020, so I hope you are all healthy and have a secure supply of toilet paper out there. In this video, we're going to look at decimal places on the TI-30XA calculator. And to do this, we'll be using the second function key that looks like this, located here, and the fix key that looks like this, that is also the decimal key located here. Now normally our calculator will be in what's called float mode, where it'll present however many decimals we need to give our answer. So if we do 1 divided by 8, we see we get 0 0.125. But if we want to change the number of decimals we get, we can do that by pressing second, then the fix key, or the decimal, and then choosing the number of decimals we want. So if we want two decimal places, we press 2, our answer has changed to two decimal places. And what was 1.25 has rounded up to 0 0.13, because that 5 has rounded up. You can tell when you're in fix mode because the word fix will appear on the top of your screen. So keep an eye out for that if you're getting a result that seems to be rounded or isn't quite what you expect it to be. We can choose between 0 and 9 decimal places, again by pressing 2nd, decimal, and then say 9 decimal places, there we go, or all the way down to 0 decimal places, and you can see this is rounded to 0 because we are at 0.125, which would round down. We can turn our calculator back to normal mode, or turn off fixed mode by pressing 2nd, decimal, and decimal again. You can see the fix is now gone and if we do a calculation like say 1 divided by 3 we get all of our decimal places as we should because we know 1 divided by 3 is 0.3333 etc. And again if we wanted to just round this to say three decimal places we would go second decimal 3 it's rounded turn off rounding by second, decimal, decimal. And we're back out of fixed mode there. Alright, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody!